Hi, I'm Melissa Reed, Chief Sustainability Officer of Sustain Life. In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate emissions from your electricity consumption. So unless your business is completely off the grid, kudos if you are, you generate indirect emissions from the consumption of electricity. Now those emissions are reflective not just off of how much energy you consume, but off of the fuel mix that actually produces that electricity. So let's dig into that a little bit. 63% of electricity in the United States is generated from a mix of fossil fuels. That's anything from coal to petroleum to natural gas. 20% of our electricity is created by nuclear energy. So if you're consuming electricity in a location that has a grid powered by nuclear or renewable sources, the emissions intensity of that electricity is much lower than if you're in a region where the grid is comprised of fossil fuels. So here's what you need to know about actually calculating your emissions from electricity consumption. Reminder, these are scope to indirect emissions, which means that they're energy related emissions because while your company consumes the electricity, it's actually generated offsite at the power plant, which makes it a scope to indirect emission. Now, if you're just starting out measuring your emissions in electricity, you're going to use what's called the location based accounting methodology, which is very simple. It just means that you'll enter your electricity consumption from your utility bill, what you're receiving directly from your grid and you'll get an emissions output that's reflective of the grid mix specific to that grid. Now, if you have a more mature energy procurement, you might want to do what's considered market-based accounting methodology, which reflects specific procurement decisions that your organization makes into its electricity supply. So take, for example, if you purchase RECs or renewable energy credits. These represent the greenness or green attributes of electricity production from renewables. So if you buy RECs, you're actually buying the greenness of those electrons. So even if you're consuming electricity from a local grid that's comprised of fossil fuels, if you purchase RECs equal to the amount of consumption, you could have zero emissions based off of market-based accounting methodology. So if you have your electricity bills and you're ready to start measuring your emissions from your electricity consumption, come check us out at sustain.life. Thanks for watching.